Hi, this is Paige with NBC, and I am here today with Missy Higgins. Missy, thank you so much for coming in today. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're very welcome. So you come to us from Australia, right? The land down under, technically. It's a very cute little accent and everything. But um, how are you liking the United States and your tour? It's not your first time here, right? It's not. Um, I actually, um, I've been living in Los Angeles for uh, this year, since January, actually. Um, uh, and I, I really love it over here. I've spent quite a lot of time here touring over the years and, and um, recording both of my albums in Los Angeles. So, yeah, I feel, I feel quite at home. Um, so you are touring right now with Ben Folds and a few other different groups, right? How's that I just, been uh, it's I, I, it's great. I just finished a tour with um, the Indigo Girls. Okay. Um, and yeah, now I'm doing a, a tour with Ben Folds. Um, I am yet to do the first show, but it is coming up. And then I've got my uh, my own shows kind of mixed into the the whole bunch. So it's been. I mean, touring with the Indigo Girls was so much fun. It really was. I got to sing with them on stage for a couple of songs, mm -hmm. and yeah, it was a dream come true. It's really exciting. I mean, so you just went straight into your next tour then, like from yeah. one to the next? Yeah, it's kind of a big nine-week tour, this one. Right, that must be pretty exhausting then. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's fun though. I mean, it's not really that hard of work. I mean, music is not really work. When you think about it, it's kind of like... <laughs> At least for you, for some of us, <laughs> it's yeah. difficult. Well, when you, when you just get to play right. an hour and a half every night on stage, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. So you're promoting your newest album, and um, that's called On a Clear Night. Mm -hmm. And um, just, I mean, tell us a little bit about it and just where it came from. And um, well, it's a, it's, it's my second album. Um, I wrote a lot of it in um, in Australia, in this little town called Broome, which is in Western Australia, and it's this little desert town on the beach, basically. And uh, I went and spent six months living there, and and um. I just uh, I spent a lot of time kind of thinking about <laughs> you know my life and mm -hmm. the direction in which it was going and and uh, and also about I guess the people I cared about and um, just I guess I was pondering a lot of life's big questions up there as you do when you kind of get out into the open right. so there's a lot of um, kind of uh, soul searching I guess on the album and and also you know there's a lot of uh, I guess heartfelt, you know, break up love songs on there as well. <laughs> so I guess it's a mixture of um, kind of piano ballads and more kind of up tempo, folky slash rocky songs. Right. Well, I, I mean, I personally really enjoy the album, but I guess just one question I was thinking about when I was listening to it is sometimes it's like you hear one song and then the demeanor and everything changes so much to the next song. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I'm in love, or now I'm angry, or now I'm this, and it's like, how do you? tap into that like where does the inspiration come from like I mean it just seems like it would be such an emotional roller coaster like writing an album mm -hmm. and trying to like express all those like varying feelings and everything yeah driving inside my own head <laughs> <laughs> um no I mean that album the songs for that album span over you know a couple of years worth of writing I as soon as I finished my first album um The Sound of White I, st I started writing for this album so um you know, a lot of those songs are a couple of years old, and you go through a lot of things in two years. So, you know, my songs are very, um, for the most part, auto autobiographical, um, and I'm very kind of open and honest in my lyrics. So, um, you know, yeah, they're they're bound to go up and down, and it is a re really varied album. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot of slow tempo ones, and then folky, and then Which yeah. Which keeps it interesting. Yeah, I think so. It's it makes it. An interesting listen for me. Okay, so you have a big, a few big shows coming up um, soon. Is there one particular thing that you do before every single show, or a good luck charm that you have to wear, or anything like, you know? Um, <laughs> it's same underpants every show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, do you? Because that'd be yeah. really <laughs> no, that'd be oh. gross. <laughs> Well, I mean, Come if on! You, if you washed them, <laughs> I feel like I've done that for no, good luck. Gosh. Um, not really. I mean, I try to do some warm-ups, but uh, even that I'm pretty bad at. Um, <laughs> so just, uh, I guess I try and, I try and um, go, f I like going for a run in the afternoon, like like a few hours, or a couple of hours before the show, because that uh, just kind of gets me all, like, invigorated and hyped all my up. endorphins. Yeah, hyped mm -hmm. up, I guess. Um, 
and then I can sleep after the show because if I if I don't do that, then I usually can't sleep until like yeah. Interesting. Do you have one particular from your last tour with the Indigo Girls, like one particular night or song or moment that really stuck out to you as being just like a special moment that you'll really remember from that tour? Um, I do actually. We uh, we sung this song uh, called Finlandia as mm -hmm. a as a, a three a cappella um, oh, wow. tune, and um, the first night we did it three times. The first night we did it was in uh, at the Troy in New York in uh, the bank, bank Savings Hall, I think it was called. And it was this, this music hall built, in, I think, in 1830 or something ridiculously old. And, um, and it was so beautiful. Like, the stage was kind of sloped downwards as they were in that day. And um, the reverb was just so huge and so natural that we probably didn't even need a microphone. And, um, yeah, I sung that song. It was a really kind of classical hymn-like song. And we sung it um, that night for the first time, and I just got shivers all through my body afterwards. I just thought, oh my God, this is just. I felt so lucky to be on stage with them, yeah. you know, singing, um, singing amongst their harmony, the, the beautiful harmony that makes them so unique, mm -hmm. you know. I'm sure that was a really cool experience for the audience that got to kind of witness that special. I mean, yeah. you probably didn't do that that often, so it was kind of a special yeah, thing that so. kind of stood out. Okay, well, um, just one last very serious question that I tend to really like to ask people. If you had to describe yourself as a kitchen utensil, what would you be and why? So you can ask me about politics. <laughs> um, oh, no. A kitchen utensil, right. Uh, a kitchen utensil, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think it says a lot about the person. Oh, God. I don't... If I could think about that, I could probably come out with some sort of really witty answer. I, I tend to say like a blender because I like to like, you know, bring different things together just to kind of give you an idea. <laughs> right, that's <laughs> nice. Um, there's a lot of thought being put into that. Um, you know what, probably just a spoon. And I have no re really... It just stuck out why. to you. Yeah, I'm kind of not very, <laughs> not very sharp. Well, and then like a spoon mixes things together. Yeah, there you go. This has been Paige with Missy Higgins. Thanks for watching.